Hi guys, welcome to my channel and to my journey in beauty. Today's video is another weekly get ready with me featuring a Christmas movie. And today's movie is one of my faves and that is A Christmas Story. A Christmas Story is a cult classic for a reason. This movie is funny, this movie is heartwarming, and this movie is very reminiscent to a lot of us in our childhoods, I think. And so today, my look is going to be inspired by You'll Shoot Your Eye Out. <laughs> Today I'm gonna to do a purple smoky eye, or at least I'm going to attempt to do a purple smoky eye. And I also found a Christmas would you rather sort of tag thingy online as well. So we'll be answering some fun questions along the way. Just to get you up to speed on what I've already applied, I did use the MAC strobe cream as my primer because I'm panning it the Physician's Formula Healthy Foundation in LN4 at my Shark Tape Tape that I'm also panning, the Anastasia Brow Wiz sample, the Benefit Gimme Brow sample, my number seven pressed powder, which I'm panning, and the Tarte, what do they call this? Amazonian Clay Waterproof Bronzer in Park Ave Princess. So, now you're all up to speed. I'm gonna go ahead and finish off the face. For my blush, since we're going a purple route, normally I'd go in with my Hourglass Mood Exposure, but this is a blush that doesn't get enough love in my collection, and it is the e.l.f. blush in Berry Mary. This is really beautiful. I think these uh, $3 blushes from e.l.f. are quite underrated. Very pigmented though. This could go ham real quickly. So the first question is, would you rather have to loudly sing the chorus of Jingle Bells every time you walk into a room for a week or have to wear a Santa suit to school every day for a week? Um, I don't go to school, <laughs> if you can imagine. Oh boy. Um, so, but even if I did go to school, I think my choice would be to sing Jingle Bells every time that I walk into a room for a week. Holy ham, Batman. That just like stuck to my face like nobody's business. Um, but yeah, I love Jingle Bells. It's actually one of my favorite Christmas songs for sure. Uh, of course, I would love to hear any of your answers on these questions down in the comment uh, section. See, why is it going on so nicely on the other side? I'm not for sure. For the highlight, I'm gonna go in with a beautiful, subtle highlight from Laura Mercier. It has a really weird name. It is the Matte Radiance, which is somewhat of an oxymoron, baked powder in the shade 01 Highlight. Just absolutely stunning. Next, would you rather make presents for your family instead of buying them or make ornaments for your Christmas tree instead of buying them? Um, I think ultimately I'd probably be fine with either, but I actually have made Christmas presents for my family for years and years. Um, probably some or a lot of you could relate to, you know, being a young married family um, with young children, not a lot of money, things like that. And so we've never... <laughs> My husband and I, we have really big families. I'm one of four kids, he's one of three, and you know, divorces and remarried and all that stuff. So we've never ever been able to really purchase gifts for all of our family members. Um, so I've done a lot of crafting and whatnot over the years. Going into the Too Faced Gingerbread Palette, I'm gonna set my primer down with this shade called Powdered Sugar here. And we will get into the next question, which is, would you rather not celebrate Christmas this year or not celebrate your birthday this year? 
This is a tricky one. Normally it wouldn't be. I really don't give two hoots about my birthday any year. Um, the only thing that I ever request on my birthday is that I don't have to cook. <laughs> uh, kind of like Mother's Day. But this year, I really wouldn't want to skip celebrating my birthday because Angela is coming to celebrate my birthday with me and not just my birthday, but her birthday. We are literally one day apart in age and I, it's just super fun and fantastic. I can't imagine a more fun way to celebrate my birthday than with Angela who will also be celebrating her birthday. So for transition, I'm gonna go into this shade right here, which is Gingerbread Latte. And so, but honestly, I also don't want to skip out on Christmas this year because my husband has been working out of state for a couple months now, and he will finally be home at Christmas Eve. And so obviously, <laughs> I don't wanna miss out. But if it were any other year, I would definitely rather skip my birthday than Christmas. I really enjoy Christmas with my kids. I really enjoy Christmas traditions. I love shopping for my kiddos and my husband. Um, you know, on that note, have you guys finished your Christmas shopping? Because at this point I haven't. Do the, I don't know, it's real trendy like a couple years ago, but we've kind of stuck with it because it works really well for our family and our beliefs when it comes to giving gifts. But do you guys remember a few years ago when they did the four gifts, the want, need, wear, and read, that's what we do with our Christmas. And then of course they get a gift from Santa and their stockings. So that's what we've been doing for the last several years and it really works for us. I feel like it's an appropriate amount, it's well balanced, and it's still in keeping with the true meaning of Christmas for us. So. In my crease, I'm gonna go in with this really beautiful purple shade called Figgy Pudding. Yeah, I definitely would prefer not to skip Christmas. I just, you know, my birthday is just not a big deal. One thing I think I've gotten used to not having much of a birthday over the years just because my birthday is right after Christmas. People tend to be broke. People do the thing where they're like, this is for Christmas and your birthday. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. There we go. Looking pretty purpley and smoky, I think. Uh, I think I'm gonna go back in with that original brush. And that gingerbread latte shade and just kind of blend out the edges of the figgy pudding. <laughs> Can't get much more Christmassy than that. Um, next, would you rather have Frosty the Snowman for a friend or Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer for a friend? I did not look at these much ahead of time because I kind of wanted this to be off the cuff, so to speak. So, um, <laughs> Some of these are kind of funny, maybe a little juvenile, but fun nonetheless. I just kind of wanted to mix it up a little bit today, not just talk about the movie that I'm inspired by today. So, so I don't know. I kind of feel like maybe I'd rather have Rudolph as a friend, you know. Frosty, ten, he tends to go away. <laughs> also, I feel like um, Rudolph might have a little in with Santa. That might be a good networking thing for me. Apparently, I've been naughty over the years because I haven't heard from Santa in a long time. Uh, <laughs> but, yeah, I think Rudolph. I think he's a fun... Fun guy. Next. <laughs> this is funny. 
Would you rather have mistletoe hanging in your bedroom doorway or have a large decorated Christmas tree in your bedroom doorway? I guess I'm gonna go with mistletoe because it sounds like um, the Christmas tree might obstruct me being able to go into my doorway. Next, we're gonna go in with this really dark plum called Reindeer Paws. Um, very appropriate for the last question about Rudolph. I'm just gonna try to go in ever so lightly and gently with this shade so we don't literally look like we shot our eye out. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go with mistletoe on this one. I was talking to Angela on the phone this morning and we were talking about Christmas tree decorating and stuff like that and I was saying one of the sort of unique traditions in terms of the Christmas tree that my mom did while we were growing up is that she, as a lot of moms do, and I definitely did, um, no additional product, just gonna go back and blend with the brush we used the purple on. Um, so anyways, my mom always put our first pair of baby shoes on the tree, um, which I think is kind of unique. I don't know that anybody else does that, and I think that's kind of cool. So, and then as each of us kids has grown up and moved away from home, she has given us our baby shoes, and so my baby shoes are on the Christmas tree. And I love it. I think it's just a fun, odd little <laughs> tradition, but very, very sweet nonetheless. I'm not for sure what's going on with this left eye today. Usually this is my good eye. <laughs> And I have like this major patchiness going on here, so I'll fix that in a minute. All right, so I think we're actually going to go in with the shade from the same palette, which is called Ooh Burn. <laughs> um, but I'm gonna go in with some glitter glue first because I am familiar with this palette. All right, so next, this is funny. Would you rather have Christmas tree tinsel for hair or have fingernails that light up like Christmas lights? <laughs> That's so weird. If I could, I would say neither, um, but I guess I would choose to have light up fingernails. I strongly dislike Christmas tree tinsel. It's madness. It's horrible for my vacuum. I have, you know, we have a kitty and I think it you know, dangerous for pets that might eat it or swallow it. It gets everywhere. It just mean a likey Christmas tinsel. This next one's kind of a gross one. It says, would you rather eat your cereal with eggnog instead of milk or eat a candy cane sandwich? I can't imagine anybody being able to eat a candy cane sandwich without breaking their teeth. <laughs> so I guess I'm gonna go with eggnog instead of milk in my cereal. <laughs> uh, that sounds pretty sweet to me. Not like in a good way, but like overly sweet. I do love cereal though. Cereal is my favorite bedtime snack probably have never mentioned that. It started when I was pregnant with my daughter and I could not get enough of multi-green Cheerios. Like every night I couldn't sleep unless I ate, I didn't eat like a huge bowl of it or anything, but I'd eat like a big coffee mug with multi-green Cheerios in it. <laughs> so, alrighty, now we're finally going into a different palette. I'm gonna go into my Lorac Mega Pro 2, and I'm gonna go into this shade, Soft Plum, right here, just on the inner third of my lid to brighten it up a little bit. And we're gonna get into the next question, which is, would you rather live in a giant gingerbread house or ride on the Polar Express? Hmm, that's really hard. I do love the Polar Express movie. Um, 
that's one we definitely try to watch every year, um, usually on Christmas Eve. I think I'll go in with my finger in a minute here. But, but I also love candy, which is so odd. I never used to be a sweet person. I always used to be more of a savory person. And now I have like a major sweet tooth. I gotta say, I probably would rather ride on the Polar Express, especially if I could take my kids with me. Speaking of sweets, do you guys like Cliff Bars? I love Cliff Bars. Um, they help me get through the day sometimes. And this one is a seasonal one. It's the iced gingerbread. Very yummy. Just putting that out there. They also had a candy cane one, which is, I haven't tried yet, so. Whoa. My aim is horrible today. Okay, so yeah, I think if I could take my kids with me, I would really like to go for a ride on the Polar Express. I think that would be fun. So of course, the Polar Express ends up in the North Pole, uh, if you've seen the movie. So I think that would definitely be my choice. And next, Oh goodness. Would you rather be allowed to only eat fruitcake for two days or be allowed to only eat candy canes for two days? Oh goodness. I would say neither if I could. Again. I guess I would rather eat candy canes for two days because I am with a lot of people on the no thank you part of fruitcake. Um, in fact, I haven't seen it at the store yet, but my kids really want to try it because they never have. So I was going to pick up a fruitcake before Christmas just so they can, you know, get it out of their system. <laughs> All right, we're going to blend and blend and blend some more here for a minute and try and fix up the edges, especially on this left side. And... Next is, would you rather write a five paragraph essay about the meaning of Christmas or solve a page of Christmas themed math problems? Definitely the essay. I do dabble in writing. Um, my mom has published some poems and essays over the years and so it's kind of in my blood, so to speak. Um, but also my sister and I have been writing a book about our dad for the last several years together. Um, just a compilation of some of his stories. He's a really amazing human being. He's been through a lot. He's lost his sight while in the Navy. Uh, he was literally inside of a gun mount when it blew up and nearly died. He spent some time in Greece um, recuperating because that's where he was when it happened. You know, it's a very interesting story. Next is, <laughs> would you rather have a nose that glows red like Rudolph's or have pointy ears like an elf? Uh, I guess I would rather have pointy ears like an elf um, cause I could hide them with my hair or wear a hat or something like that. It's kind of a cheater, but yeah, no red nose for me. I like highlighter on my nose, not red. <laughs> All right. Next, would you rather receive socks for Christmas or receive a dictionary for Christmas? Ooh, that's actually hard cause I wouldn't mind either one. I'm going to take on my brow bone this shade chiffon in the Lorac palette. I've already hit pan on that. Hmm. I like socks. I guess I already have a dictionary and I never think, and I always think I could never have too many fun pairs of socks. You know, just colorful, fun socks. That's one thing I like to buy my kiddos every year in their stocking is socks, just fun socks though. Like last year I got my son 
Monopoly socks and then socks that had like the dots candy on it because that's one of his favorites and so yeah I think I would pick socks next would you rather be given a hundred dollars for Christmas to buy things for yourself or be given a thousand dollars before Christmas to use to buy gifts for other people definitely the thousand dollars to use for other people um you know of course everybody likes getting gifts and I'm no exception to that but I love shopping for other people and giving gifts to other people. No joke, no word of a lie there. I mean, that's not like, oh, what a good human being I am. That's like legit, I love shopping for other people. I think I will take this reindeer paws just on the outer corner, like the outer third. Hmm, this is a good one. Would you rather get many small gifts for Christmas or one big present for Christmas. I actually think I would like the smaller gifts. I really love, like my favorite part of opening gifts on Christmas morning growing up was the stocking stuffers. And my mom always wrapped our stocking stuffers so we got to open a bunch of teeny tiny little fun things and it just felt like more it made the fun last longer in terms of unwrapping gifts because we always went around in a circle and opened one gift at a time so my mom could watch us individually and you know just enjoy our faces and you know our reactions to the gifts so then I'm gonna go back into the Lorac Mega Pro here I can get it open and go back into this soft plum shade and go on the inner part of the lower lash line with that and then for an inner corner highlight we're gonna go into the shade Prosecco nope I pointed to chiffon this shade Prosecco it is a blinding inner corner highlight so Would you rather have a job wrapping presents at the mall or have a job taking pictures of children sitting on Santa's lap at the mall? Definitely wrapping gifts. Even though, like I used to love wrapping gifts and it was really fun, it's become quite the chore over the last couple of years for me, just because I'm usually the only one wrapping the gifts. <laughs> Um, but I would still rather wrap the presents at the mall. I'm just, I love my kids, but I don't like a lot of other kids, <laughs> which sounds horrible. I promise you I'm not a horrible person. I love my friends' kids, you know, my nieces and nephews and stuff. I'm just not a kid person. I'm not ever a person that would have worked at a daycare or been a teacher of kids, anything like that. So I think this is the eyes finished still kind of patchy on this side which bums me out but what are you gonna do next would you rather be one of santa's elves or be one of santa's reindeer um okay let's see here for eyeliner i'm gonna go in with the nars larger than life longwear eyeliner in the shade via veneto veneto via veneto <laughs> this is in my shop my stash for december so i'm just going to use that and then in my waterline i'm going to go in with this l'oreal infallible longwear eye pencil in the shade purple hannah actually my daughter suggested that to me she said you should wear purple in your waterline so we're gonna do that just for hannah I think I definitely would rather be one of Santa's elves. I always think it's fun watching movies like The Santa Claus, where they show the elves actually in the workshops making the toys and things like that. I was always kind of fascinated by that when I was growing up. Okay, real quickly, I'm gonna pop off of here and do my mascara. I'm just gonna be using this deluxe size Better Than Sex, which is not Better Than Sex mascara, and then we will come back to finish off the look and the questions. I think I'm just gonna go in with the MAC 
frost uh, lipstick in the shade on and on uh, this has a sheer plum base with turquoise shimmer in it. It's definitely one of my favorites, so why not? Yeah, I actually don't mind that. Look how my face ate the blush. You can barely see it anymore, but whatever. All right, the last question. Would you rather see the Nutcracker or dance in the Nutcracker? I would definitely rather dance in the Nutcracker. I'm not a dancer. I always wished I was. That was something that I never did growing up, but my daughter is a dancer and she just danced in the Nutcracker last weekend and it was phenomenal as always. So this is the final look. Does it look like I shot my eye out? <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed this fun little get ready with me inspired by one of my favorite Christmas movies, A Christmas Story. And I hope all of your makeup days are beautiful Christmassy makeup days. And I'll see you in my next video soon. Bye.